IO, it's uh, Grizz here, Six Guerrier Motorcycles. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this bad boy a new fuel tank. Right, what we're going to do, let's turn that volume down a bit. Thought I'd give you a bit of uh, background noise. So, what have I done? I've um, covered the engine with the uh, with a sheet to protect it from all the uh, resin that I'm going to put on it. I have um, chucked some undercoating of foil. I was going to cover it all in foil and then just tape it up, but the foil was tearing a bit, and I've got a massive amount of sellotape here at my disposal. I ordered three rolls of sellotape at work <laughs> and I had, instead I had arrive three lots of three. So I've got like nine rolls of sellotape. So what have I done? I've used the sellotape basically to um, mold the, the general shape of the tank. Um, this is very much kind of work in progress. I have done fiberglass and before and work with with uh, carbon fiber but it's been a while and um, yeah I'm gonna kind of learn it again <laughs> with you as I go so what have I done also here with the the, the um, oasis block I've chucked it in all the gaps here that I want to uh, basically make uh, some new areas and fill in I'm gonna carve these down in a second and uh, show you what I mean by arranging a new shape. This side of the tank is a lot lower than um, the, the other side, so I need to bring this side down a lot lower. But I'm going to get a rough outline of this um, petrol tank going with fiberglass and go from there basically um, this is going to be the kind of maybe like a a base to start from and then I can bring it out more of a, a kind of shape that I would want to finish off with so let's carve some of this off I hope I have my camera on a good enough angle for you all um, yeah I've been messing around with the bike I uh, took the handlebars off earlier as well to sort out the um, the top yoke for uh, fitting the new handlebars on so anyway oasis block super soft i've just got a normal kind of carving knife and uh, yeah you can literally just take the contour that you want to take and cut away and you're left with what like that it's good in it i'm gonna go a little bit wider than i need to because i would rather have too big an area first excuse me if I talk rubbish I'm a bit tired to be honest but I'm insistent on doing this um, so that is like that and that is like that that's gonna get a rough kind of um, shape of what I want here Taffy will join me in a bit. I've just picked Taffy up from work, actually. This is Sunday evening. And uh, I've got a chicken in the oven. I've cooked for us. So uh, I'm just going to... Wanted to come out and do this before we eat. Just to show you. Get a start to this vlog, basically. Um, and now we want to do the same around here bring this in roughly to where I want. I'm going to go maybe in a bit tighter of the actual shape that I, the finishing shape I want because um, it's easier to add than take away at this stage. You'll see what I mean when I get the fiberglass on it. It's a super soft and easy to cut. So again, coming down. I want to get the shape and what I'm going to do now after I've done this is I'll cover it all 
uh, not like that. I'll cover it all in sellotape. And then I'll end up with the end final shape I want, you know. Um, this is quite rough. But it's the start of a shape. It's not really working very well. As you can tell, I'm such a pro. This might need a second go. It's so messy, this stuff as well. The um, Oasis block. So let's uh, cut this through here. Bit more. I need like a, a different knife, really. Like so. Something like that. What do you reckon? Eh, right, it's not really holding together very well, but. I can kind of work with this, basically. If I can get some general shape. Because I'll sellotape this over again in a minute. Right. I'm kind of happy with this for now. Hope you can uh, see this all properly. Yeah, something like that in it. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to chuck some sellotape on this now and uh, get the lines that I want <laughs> and maybe uh, get the hoover on it as well <clears throat> and clean it up. Right, so I'm going to come back to this in a sec. Um, yeah, I'll come back to that. Um, I'll come back to it, I'll sellotape it and then I'll come back to it. I want to show you also what I've done here with the handlebars. had a real pig of a job with the handlebars. Um, let's get my phone here, make sure you can see everything. So what we got here, we got the original handlebars, um, something like that. Ta-da! And there it is. The new bars, yeah, scrambler, okay. Um, and what I need to do is drill a couple of holes in the the top fork clamp, and basically put these on the top fork clamp like so. Um, so yeah, but it was a real job getting the um, getting the handlebar top fork clamp off because. Uh, BMW have done a really nice job of uh, securing it really nice. Let's turn that down for a second. Turn that off, yeah. Right, yeah, BMW done a smart job here. <clears throat> They've put like this really awkward fit in here and you've got like a nut. You've got an Allen key hole here and a nut you have to do. And the thing you've got to do is stick your Allen key in here <laughs> And also, that's the wrong size Allen key, but you get the idea. You put an Allen key in and also turn this nut at the same time. So you've got to hold this one still and turn this one. And all of that was right up underneath here. On Let me just check, make sure I've got the right angle. It was right underneath here. So that was a real pig to get out. And that took me most of the afternoon to do. Had to jack up the bike to support the weight because the front end's not stable now because it's on like a ball joint on the front wishbone. Um, but anyway, that's all apart now. It was a real pain. Um, so now I just need to get uh, my drill and drill out 
two holes. I won't do that this up tight. Um, drill out two holes so I can secure the handlebars on. So um, yeah, let's get the next stage of that going, but I'm going to leave that for now. Now I'm going to go back to getting this petrol tank done and um, see what kind of shape I've got. Chuck some, clean it up with a with the Hoover, get rid of the excess and um, get some sellotape on it and uh, get the actual shape I want. And then I can start fiberglassing get the shape of this tank going. It's gonna be huge though. Okay, I'll come back to this in a bit.